Okay, showing the mode in game mode. Uh, uh, full stick web development and in the full stick web development this video your whole concept will be clear about it so see the video start to it and please like this video share it across and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to all the notification bell also so never miss any future later videos about the full stick web development so without being an item let's move from your screen and let's do a coding with laughing guys so you can see more of me game with the full stick web development and full stick web development i'm telling about the for the asking uh in the esteem for background images so yeah we are learning about it so let's get started without wasting any time and let's learn about better background images and asking so let's start for but first of all we are i'm writing like uh 45 okay now let's start as simple background images uh background image can be specified for almost any html element like background image on a an html element to add a background image on an HTML element, use the HTML style attribute and the CSS background property. Uh, add a background image on the uh, on a ele HTML element like this. Okay, like that you can add a background uh, image on an HTML element like this. Okay, now let me show you how. First of all, you open your Visual Studio Code and then you create a new window, and then when you create a new window you click your file and you give your file name like index.html i'm giving my file name then you create this file in your documents and then i'm writing here html then i'm writing here a body and then i'm pasting right here code then when i pasted the code here i add like p element and in the style i add like background image like this this but i'm giving my background image to be 25 dot web page okay and you must know that uh, where you make your html file must your picture will be there okay not like you make your HTML file do in the documents or your picture in your desktop. Not like this. Where, where you are making your uh, uh, file in documents, so you also save your image in your documents. Okay. So now let me open my HTML file. So now nothing will be coming. So let me see why uh, not nothing has been coming. Now let me save it and then let me run it. Okay, bye. Here I am writing like save it and run it. So now here you can see my image is coming and my html element has been also becoming i write like r5 a y y so it is coming like this so now let me minimize it you can also specify the background image in the style element in the head section specify the background image in the style element also like in the in the p element you write like hi my name is my name is alexa now when I save it and run it, so my name is Alexa is coming. But when I write here style and in the style when I write here, here P and here I am writing like background image and then URL and I'm giving the URL will be 25 dot web page down save it and then run it. So now in the background the image has been come here you can see it in the background like this. Okay, but when I change the image, so let me show you here I am changing the image. So here you can see it. The image has been changed like this. Here you can do like that. You can do it. Remove the ima back, uh, background image on a page. If you want to uh, want the entire page to have background image, you must specify the background image on the body element. Add the background image for the entire page. If you add the background uh, image to uh, to the entire page, so what you can do simply you write here body, and then you write here your uh, background image, and then. Here you write like URL and the URL you write your image name like I am writing my image name is my image name is 25 web page and when I write it and save it and run it so the whole in the whole entire page the uh, image has been come here you can see it like that you can give it here the background image for the entire page I have told you so now background repeat so this type of things has been coming like one two three four five six seven eight nine many times the picture has been coming how to finish it let me tell you for that you only need to do background repeat if you have the background uh, if the background image is smaller than the element the image will repeat itself horizontally and vertically until it reaches the end of the element how let me tell you like that when you write here this type of first of all you write your image name i have already write it then to avoid the background image from repeating itself, set, set the background repeat property to no repeat. How? Let me tell you. Only come here and write here background repeat, still be no repeat. 
So now save it and then run it. So here you can see only one picture has been coming. Now not any type of picture has been coming. Only one picture is coming. Why? Because I write like background repeat. So there will be no repeat. That's why. Now background cover. We want the background size to, co to cover the entire element. You can set the background size property to cover. Also to make sure the entire element is always covered. Set the background attachment property to fix. This way, the background image will cover the entire element with no stretching. The image will keep its original portions. Okay, proportions. So let me really how you only come here. You write like background attachment should be fixed. Background cover. Sorry, cover not uh, background size. Give the background size will be covered. So now save it and run it. So you can see it. The image is coming on the entire page now. Here you can see it. The image is very fit to the entire page like that. Here you can see it. Like that you can do it. Or you want to any do uh, things like you give like text align will be uh, text align will be centered and color will be white. Now save it and then run it. So you can see it. Hi, my name is Alexa is coming. But my name is Alexa is beginning uh, is a beginning uh, because I am beginning. But my image is it in place. Okay, why? Because I give the background and admin should be fixed. That's why. Okay. So now, anyways, let's come on to a background stretch. If you want the background image to stretch to fit the entire element, you can set the background size property to hundred percent. To resizing the browser window, you will see that the image will stretch but always cover the entire element. Okay. So what you can do? You only change it and you write like background, uh, background size will be 100%. 100%. Save it or run it. So you can see it. It is stretching. Here you can see now it is stretching. The picture is stretching. Here you can see it now. Because I give the background size will be 100%. That's why. So now, here you can see in today's video, I told you about in the HTML what are background images like, you know. Now we are uh, we study our new series about the images and this is our second last video of images and in today's video I told you about the background images how to give the background images and I have told you in the HTML how to give it and I also told you in the CSS how to give you in the HTML file I also use the uh, CSS and if you don't know what is internal external and inline CSS so I have already made the video of it okay so access my holistic web development playlist then you will be see all the videos of the uh, all the videos of the HTML so okay so but I hope you can enjoy this class if in today's video we learn about in the HTML for background images so I hope you can enjoy this class so but if you want to write a many code so you will be also seeing the uh, image like I give the CSS image save it and so you can see it so you can see the CSS image has been came like that so if you give the background size will be 100% like I if I write a background cover background cover so but let me tell you one thing let me tell you one thing when we remove the background attachment should be fixed when we remove it so we will be zoom it like this you can see like this sorry when i give the background uh, size sorry, background when we remove the save it okay let me remove it now let me come here and now save it and then run Okay, just doing like this. But when I give, I remove this background size hundred percent. So now you do like this. Here you can see it. But whenever you add like background attachment should be fixed. Save it and run it. So you will be do like this. But when you write here background size should be hundred percent, hundred percent, and then save it and then run it. But then you will be not do this. Okay, then you will be not do this like that. You can do it. You know. Here you can see it. we told you about what are the HTML background images. So I hope you can share this class. If you enjoyed it, please like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to all the notifications bell also so never miss our any future daily videos about the full stick web development. So now I'm using a class and um, next very amazing class like that type of ST full stick web development videos. So now for today, good bye.